Steve Jobs Homestead High The location of the Los Altos home meant that Jobs would be able to attend nearby Homestead High School, which had strong ties to Silicon Valley. He began his first year there in late 1968 along with Fernandez. Neither Jobs nor Fernandez, whose father was a lawyer, came from engineering households and thus decided to enroll in John McCollum's Electronics One. McCollum and the rebellious Jobs, who had grown his hair long and become involved in the growing counterculture, would eventually clash and Jobs began to lose interest in the class. He also had no interest in sports and would later say that he didn't have what it took to be a jock. I was always a loner. He underwent a change during mid-1970. I got stoned for the first time, I discovered Shakespeare, Dylan Thomas, and all that classic stuff. I read Moby Dick and went back as a junior taking creative writing classes. Jobs also later noted to his official biographer that I started to listen to music a whole lot, and I started to read more outside of just science and technology, Shakespeare, Plato. I loved King Lear. When I was a senior I had this phenomenal AP English class. The teacher was this guy who looked like Ernest Hemingway. He took a bunch of us snowshoeing in Yosemite. From that point, Jobs developed two different circles of friends, those who were involved in electronics and engineering and those who were interested in art and literature. These dual interests were particularly reflected during Jobs' senior years. His best friends were Wozniak and his first girlfriend, the artistic Homestead junior Chris Ann Brennan. In 1971 after Wozniak began attending University of California, Berkeley, Jobs would visit him there a few times a week. This experience led him to study in nearby Stanford University Student Union. Jobs also decided that rather than join the electronics club, he would put on light shows with a friend for Homestead's avant-garde jazz program. He was described by a Homestead classmate as kind of a brain and kind of a hippie, but he never fit into either group. He was smart enough to be a nerd but wasn't nerdy. And he was too intellectual for the hippies, who just wanted to get wasted all the time. He was kind of an outsider. In high school everything revolved around what group you were in. And if you weren't in a carefully defined group, you weren't anybody. He was an individual, in a world where individuality was suspect. By his senior year in late 1971, he was taking freshman English class at Stanford and working on a Homestead underground film project with Chris Ann. In mid-1972, after graduation and before leaving for Reed College, Jobs and Brennan rented a house from their other roommate, Al. During the summer, Brennan, Jobs, and Steve Wozniak found an advertisement posted on the day on College bulletin board for a job that required people to dress up as characters from Alice in Wonderland. Brennan portrayed Alice while Wozniak, Jobs, and Al portrayed the White Rabbit and the Mad Hatter. 